morning, friends. Thank you for being here today for this video. Today, we are going to do a small clean and decorate with me for fall. I'm going to just be tidying up the kitchen and decorating the kitchen for fall. Um, it's still kind of early here in Georgia, but um, I'm somebody that likes to enjoy my decorating for a very long time. So I am going to start decorating my house in phases and I'm going to start with the kitchen. So today I'm just going to remove all of the decor, um, straighten it up just a little bit and then put out some fall decor. So if you are into that, keep watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Melanique. I do videos um, related to decorating, lifestyle, home decor, fashion, all the good things. If that's you and you're interested, please subscribe down below, like this video and hit the notification button. So glad you're here and let's get started. I like to start my morning off with a cup of coffee. I have coffee every single morning, whether I'm at home on the weekend or um, if I'm at work. If I'm at work, I'll make a cup for myself in the office, but having my coffee just wakes me up and helps me get started with the day. Um, so I'll often have my devotion and then have a cup of coffee and it gets me ready for whatever I have to face in the day. So I'm going to get started this morning by opening all of the curtains in the kitchen. I absolutely love the windows that we have in our home. Uh, they are so big and they let so much light into the house. So the first thing we do when we get up is open all of our shutters and open the curtains so that we can get our day started. I'm just going to show you our kitchen and what we're going to be working with today, what we're going to be cleaning. There's not much really to clean in the kitchen today, but there are remnants of our breakfast and our lunches and just random things we happen to leave in the kitchen. So before we can decorate today, I am going to be tidying up by washing the dishes, cleaning off the countertops, cleaning off our tables. And here I am just taking all of the dirty dishes out of the sink, even though I'm not going to wash the dishes right now, I do like for the sink to be clear before I start to put things away. So our bar and countertop area acts as a sort of catch-all for everything. Everyone tends to put their lunch boxes or cups here, random meal, and so by the end of the week, it's just time to clean it off. And that's what I'm doing here before I actually get ready to wash the dishes. And here I am going to wash the dishes and realize that I have clean dishes over on the right that need to be put away from where my daughter washed dishes the previous night. But of course, she didn't dry the dishes. So I'm just going to put those away uh, quickly before I wash the few dishes that I do have to wash. And you'll notice that I'm going to hand wash them. I'm a person that really does not mind hand washing dishes if there aren't a lot of them well even if there you know are a lot of them I don't mind um, but I'm going to hand wash the few dishes that we do have in the sink and I am going to be using my Dawn power wash which I absolutely love I'm going to show you in just a moment this stuff is absolutely amazing. You can just use regular dish soap, but I absolutely love spraying it and just getting my few dishes washed up. And it is a great cleaning agent for a whole lot of things. But I'm just going to quickly wash up the few dishes that we have in the sink. And then I'm going to move on to cleaning the countertops after I get all of the dishes cleaned and rinsed. 
Here I am getting ready to wash and dry my new canisters that I purchased from Home Goods. I shared this in my fall decor haul. I'm going to be switching out the canisters I have on my counter with my dry goods in them. I have them in some canisters that I purchased from Kirkland's a couple of years ago and I'm just ready for a new look. So I'm washing those up and now I am quickly going to clean out my sink because your kitchen isn't clean until your sink is clean, right? So again, I'm using my Dawn Power Wash along with my scrub daddy to get my sink nice and shiny. A lot of times I like to wipe my sink off with paper towels after I have cleaned it, but this time I didn't do that. And here I'm just wiping my countertops down. I am going to go in and clean them with some Mrs. Myers spray that you'll see in just a minute. But I do like to just give everything a good wipe down after I wash the dishes. Um, that includes all of my countertops and everything. And here's Acorn Spice by Mrs. Myers. It's one of my favorite favorite fall scents if you guys have not smelled acorn spice it just screams fall and it makes my whole kitchen smell so good when I spray it on the counters and wipe down with it I am going to now clean off my stove top I am not in love with my stove top guys but I'm dealing with it for now it works fine but I had a flat top in my old house and this house had the burners. And um, so it's just a little harder to keep clean. And so I'm just giving it a quick clean right here, not a deep clean. And I like to keep these burner covers on top of my stove. It just kind of gives it a cleaner look to me. And I'm going in again with some more of my Mrs. Myers spray. While I'm cleaning this countertop, I am going to start removing some of the decor that I am going to be switching out for my fall decor. But before we do that, we have to finish making our countertops nice and shiny and helping them smell good like fall. I'm going to clean my appliances with the Wyman's stainless steel spray and the towel that it came with. I like to wipe my refrigerator, microwave, oven, and dishwasher down about once a week with this spray. It does a great job of keeping everything nice and shiny. Okay, now that the kitchen is all clean, I wanna kinda show you around my kitchen so you can see how we currently have it decorated. Um, on our table, we have this glass jar that I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year during the, the spring shop clearance sale. Um, and it's sitting on a Lazy Susan that I purchased from Ross last year. And in the vase, I have these beautiful willow branches that I purchased from Walmart and I love them. I've had them on my table all summer. And I also have a runner on my table that I believe I'm going to leave there through the fall. On our bar area, you saw where I removed um, a tray that I have, and I currently have this cake stand that I am going to use in my fall decor in just a few minutes. Um, on our wall, we have this blanket ladder that I use for decor that I absolutely love. I am considering changing my ladder out because it kind of falls over the kids knock it down and they've made my decor a little disheveled <laughs> so I'm going to switch it out for a letter that lays flush with the wall 
So this little area used to house our toaster oven, but it died. And so we're gonna replace this area with a new air fryer. And on our pantry door, I have a little wreath I bought from Ross for about $4 during a clearance sale one year. And we'll take that down and replace it with a new fall wreath. And over here on our counter, is one of my favorite areas. I have a little tray, a prep tray is what I call it, where I have my um, my grease container where we put bacon fat and our olive oil container, uh, salt and pepper, and then a little stem that I have in a glass jar that I'll be changing out, as well as my wooden utensils that I use every single day. I absolutely love this little area on my countertops and behind that I have my little kitchen conversions cutting board a larger cutting board and then my long charcuterie board that I use when I make charcuterie and in this corner I have a tiered tray that I absolutely love and I will be decorating that for fall as well but we do keep fruit on the bottom of that tray and a bread tin that I recently purchased from Amazon I usually keep our bread in the pantry but my husband really likes things out on the countertops and I found um, a container that I don't hate and so I have that on our countertops as well and I also have the glass jars that I washed earlier where I'm going to be replacing them on this tray I generally just keep my dish soap and my hand soap and here are my canisters that hold my grits my sugar and my rice and I'll be replacing those as well and then in the corner we have our echo miss Alexa and our butter dish a spoon rest that I purchased from Ross, the salt and pepper that I cook with, my stove top, and our tea kettle that my girls use often. And one other area that I wanna share with you is our coffee bar. Uh, we use this every day. On the wall, I have two uh, straw baskets that I purchased from Target on clearance during the summer. Also, this cute little picture I got from Ross and a tin that I bought from Walmart a couple of years ago and I actually spray painted it because it was a silver farmhousey metal color and I spray painted it cream. But we use our coffee bar area um, every single day. Um, on the top of it, I of course have our K-Cups and they're sitting in a bowl on a tray um, with a snake plant my glass coffee mugs that I love and a candle and then we have some shelves on here also that I have decor on and so we will be working today to just style that a little bit um, for fall so this is our kitchen and with that we are going to get to decorating going to start on our bar area with this wooden cake stand I am going to place this jug that I already had that I purchased from home goods this summer on clearance right on this cake stand and the cake stand came from Ross as well earlier this year and to that I'm going to add some of these Walmart sprays that I shared in my fall haul they are so beautiful those colors are very beautiful and you're going to see when I put them in this picture how pretty they are and because the opening is so small I really only needed one spray in there look how pretty that looks and then to that I'm going to add a small white pumpkin and also this autumn leaves and pumpkins please sign that I picked up from Target dollar spot and that is all I'm actually going to put on this cake stand but I think that it is so pretty 
so the next thing we're going to decorate is this round tray that I purchased I believe from Burlington um, this was already on my countertop it had the picture in it but I'm going to put this little wicker plant stand I purchased from Target Dollar Spot during the summer and also this white candle that I already had on the tray as well and I'm sticking some little pieces of the spray I got from Walmart my 10 cent sprays I just took some of the little pieces off to stick inside of this small planter and it was so pretty and simple sitting on my countertop and I only needed a few of them to make it look full and it took a little bit of finagling for me to really like the arrangement and then I'm going to add this cute little ceramic green pumpkin that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well as this white ceramic acorn I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot and look how pretty and simple this arrangement is on my bar area okay guys so it's actually the next day yeah it's the next day and I couldn't finish yesterday because I had to work I had to go to church and I didn't get home till late so I was not able to complete decorating the kitchen plus we live here and I couldn't keep monopolizing the kitchen trying to get my filming done so I'm up early I'm the first one up uh, I am going to finish decorating this kitchen today and show you guys what it looks like um, you even notice my hair is not up in my usual bun because I just didn't feel like putting it up today so you have to get me in all my glory today so with that being said we are going to get finished so moving on to my coffee bar area I am going to start by removing all of the items that I have on here so that I can have a clean slate when I put my decor items on here I'm also removing all of the things from the shelf on the bottom we'll start with this white tray I purchased from the spring shop it was 75% off and to that I'm going to add an autumn harvest sign I picked up from the Target dollar spot as well as this beautiful owl I purchased from Home Goods. All the fall decor was 50% off when I bought it. And I believe he is made to put a candle inside. I'm going to add this Hunter Green pumpkin as well as this little black raffia pumpkin that also came from the Target dollar spot. I think this is looking so cute. And to that I'm going to add just a couple of my glass coffee mugs just because I do use them every day. I drink coffee from them every day so um, I thought they would make a lovely addition to our decor. And the last thing I'm going to put on the tray is this hot coffee for 25 cent sign. I'm really not sure if I'm going to leave that sign there or not but for now I like it and then I'm going to add these beaded garlands to the tray and I kind of had to play with it a little bit because <laughs> it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do so I figured out something in the end that I'm not still not sure that I am in love with next to my Keurig machine I'm going to add one of the glass jars that I purchased from Home Goods, and to that I am adding some K cups so that we can have our K cups ready for us in the mornings. I'm also going to add this large cream colored pumpkin to the side of that canister, and that is going to complete 
the top of the coffee bar. To the planter that I have on the wall, I'm going to add some more of those beautiful stems that I purchased from Walmart. This is the same stem that I have in the picture on my countertop. And these were so beautiful in this planter. I am going to add a couple of these stems. I believe I ended up adding three. This one is a little bit different and it has some of the raffia in there as well as some white sunflowers. This turned out so beautiful and I really only needed two of these stems to fill up that planter. And you can see here the finished look of my coffee bar I am so excited about it I think that everything turned out very beautifully it is not too busy just the right amount of fall touches I've added back my basket that I had there as well as the container that we have our teas in my daughters love to drink hot tea and so I keep those there for them as well. I have also added some decor pieces to the shelving area at the bottom of the coffee bar and I'll go into detail about those later. So right now we're going to move on to my countertops and I am going to finally switch out my canisters that I have mentioned several times in this video. So we're going to begin to uh, pour all of our contents from the old canisters into these beautiful glass canisters. And you probably saw me take my um, silver measuring cup out I am going to wash those and use those until I find some scoops that I like better. I really would like to have some clear scoops or some small wooden scoops and I haven't really been able to find any that I like. But if you know of some cute little scoops or clear or wooden um, that I can get please let me know in the comments. But I absolutely love these glass jars. It just gives a totally different look to our kitchen. And here you see me putting the silver measuring cups back into the canisters. I've washed them and put them back and they look fine. I really do like them. So I'm very happy about that. What I'm doing now is going to, I'm going to add some of these tiny pumpkins and gourds into this tiny bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby's Spring Shop, actually for 90% off. So this little bowl cost me probably $2 and the little bag of pumpkins were $7.99 and 50% off. And I'm going to sit that back there to kind of hide my cords of my diffuser and our echo dot and I just added an orange pumpkin and over by my knife block I'm going to add this beautiful cookbook stand that I got from Target I shared this in my fall haul and I'm deciding between two cookbooks one by Aisha Curry um, called Full Plate and then the other cookbook is the Magnolia Table cookbook that I picked up from Target and I think I ended up um, just for the moment using the Magnolia cookbook because the color matched the color scheme better and I have it open to a really cozy <laughs> recipe creamy chicken soup and to that I added a green pumpkin which I am going to later move and on my tray I'm not really gonna change anything I just took out the green little spray and put in these beautiful little uh, twigs that I found in the taller excuse me the target dollar spot 
for 50 cent each and that is all I'm gonna do to that area and now I'm going to just quickly decorate my tiered tray that's the green pumpkin that you saw by the cookbooks I thought it would look better here another one of the white ceramic pumpkins I am adding and then a larger version of the raffia pumpkin that's on the coffee bar and this little ceramic owl that I found at Dollar Tree to the sides of that I am going to add some pieces of the another one of my Walmart sprays and I am gonna let that be all that I put on my tiered tray and I think that it is gorgeous that is all I need in the corner and I found this little ladder at Hobby Lobby and to that I'm going to add some tea towels that I found at Target on clearance they were about two dollars each after the discount but I found that they were rather large and so I ended up only using one of the tea towels on this little ladder but we will use this ladder to hang our dish towels um, and so I thought that was a nice little touch and then I'm going to add this woven pumpkin on my pantry door I'm going to add this small fall wreath that I purchased from Dollar Tree for five dollars I think that it is very cute and minimal so what I'm doing here now is I've done all my decorations and I am just giving my floor a very quick once over with my cordless vacuum. This vacuum is a Eureka vacuum that was not very expensive but I really love using this on my hardwood floors in the kitchen when I don't want to use the traditional broom. The suction power is pretty good for the carpet and the floor in the kitchen and I use this to vacuum the carpet under the table where we eat and I also use it to vacuum the area uh, where we cook and prep food I have found that it is um, so amazing how much dust and crumbs accumulate in the kitchen over a few days I we didn't have hardwood floors where we lived before and I don't know I just don't remember there being this much to always dust and vacuum but we did have a lot more carpet than we have in our main living spaces now and so it just seems like I'm always vacuuming <laughs> but anyway here is our kitchen I did not get to show you how I use the stems that I bought from Target those Salal stems um, I replaced those with the willow branches on our kitchen table and I think they are absolutely gorgeous on our table I think that because they're so long um, that's all we need there and here is our coffee bar I think that there are just the right amount of touches of fall here I really love how this is styled on our shelves um, we have this little amber vase that I found at Hobby Lobby for a few dollars and some more pieces of my fall Walmart stems that I have stuck in a little candle glass candle jar that I picked up from Kirkland's a long time ago and then there's another little fall pumpkin uh, floral arrangement that I showed you in my fall haul as well as my little cupcake stand I already had and here is my tray that I have and of course my wall planter that I think just is beautiful I know that there are lots of colors in there but I think that it is 
just enough um, to give the perfect touches of fall. Over here is my ladder that I showed you earlier. I am going to be changing my ladder out and taking away some of the decor, but for now I just added some of my fall sprays into the hanging basket that I have on the bottom and I think that it goes well with what I have going on in the kitchen. But again, um, we will be changing that out in a little while and I'll share that with you as well. This is one of my favorite areas in the kitchen. Right here I have my tray with the candle and my pumpkins, very simple. And my absolute favorite is my pitcher with the fall spray in it. This is really the first thing my eye goes to when I walk into the kitchen. And I just think that it's absolutely lovely. And I mentioned this area earlier. I am going to be replacing our toaster oven or putting our new air fryer there. So I wanted to leave that area blank. I did not want to put anything there. And on our pantry door is the small uh, leaf wreath that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I think it goes beautifully with the fall florals that I have on my countertop. And I have my cookbook here and I did remove the pumpkin that I had sitting there. I thought that it would look better on the tier tray which you are about to see. So I will likely add a small, another small piece of decor there as well. And I kept my prep tray the same with my grease canister and my olive oil container. And I just added these little pieces of pompous grass. That's what they're called. I couldn't think of that earlier, but that's what they are, are small pieces of pompous grass. And then my tear tray, I think, is so cute with the different types of pumpkins. And we have our area where we have the canisters that I switched out that I think are much more simpler than what I had before. And I didn't show you our little blessed pumpkin sign uh, when I decorated this area, but I have added that and it covers up our echo dot and our diffuser that is behind there. So I wanted to keep our stovetop area clear because this is where I really do all of my cooking. So I feel like my kitchen turned out beautifully and I'm very happy with it right now. I do know that there are a few things I want to add or change and I will show you that, those as we continue to decorate for fall. Well, friends, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, for coming back. If you have not already, if you will subscribe, click the notifications bell, and most importantly, like this video. I pray that you all have a wonderful, fantastic day and fantastic week ahead. God bless.